What's up, people? VantyX89 here, and, well, it's time for another trilogy. Something that I said that I was going to do a long time ago, um, well, something that I said I was planning on doing a long time ago. Yeah, um, well, it, I finally actually found a way to get the ROM to work, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. So, um, yeah. Time to kick ass and take names. With Dragon Ball Z, Legacy of Goku. So, uh, yeah. Wow, this game is, this game was released in 2002. Damn. All right, well, um, yeah, and I kind of did do a little bit of a practice run because, well, this game is kind of a tad unfair. Kind of? No, it's very unfair, but whatever. Our story begins with our humble hero, Goku. It has been a long time since he has last seen his childhood friends, and so he has decided to meet with them at the house of his old martial arts master. Coming along with him is his young six-year-old son, Gohan. I will not be uh, like reading the character dialogue, and I won't be doing voices. <laughs> Just in case anybody didn't like that from before. Not to mention, right now, I am not in the mood for it. So, this is uh, a Dragon Ball Z RPG-esque kind of game. Um, it has some RPG elements, but it mainly plays like an action-adventure title. You do have little side quests that you can do in order to gain experience points. That's pretty much how this game is going to work. You're going to level up. You start out at, uh, at the basic level 1. And by the time the game is over, you end at level 25. That's the highest that you can go. You can't gain any more experience from there. So we have uh, a basic 3-hit uh, combo, which can be accessed by uh, the... A button and your key is mapped to your B button. And you can talk and interact with people with, of course, the always context sensitive A button. So I'm just talking with people just to kind of establish some stuff. What you want to do is go on ahead and find these little oddly shaped uh, girl faces on the floor. Um, yeah, these are. Master Roshi's magazines. If you watch Dragon Ball Z, then you know. Move, Bulma! Then you know what I'm talking about. His girly magazines. Alright, so, um, yeah, let's take a look at our menu here. So, yeah. I don't have the Kamehameha. Weird. Considering that became his signature attack. He had it already. And here's another one just sitting on the floor. Okay. So yeah, you can actually have some neat little interactions with certain items when you walk around and uh, and check some things out. Like here with the fridge. Yeah, so there's nothing else for you to do. So after that, you're going to have to talk with Roshi each time for each magazine. You'll get a reward for doing that. Yeah, I kind of forgot about it, so I had to do it again. <laughs> Alright, so now we have so uh, a sense of being which is full health, and herbs are a quarter health. You're a turtle, of course you don't understand. And 350 experience points, that was more than enough to get us to level 2. And suddenly, Raditz. The hell? <laughs> and unfortunately, no, you don't get any Krillin owned or anything. You know, it's just, uh, he comes in and it's just nothing but an exchange. It's very awkward. 
I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. All I know is that this is not really the best Dragon Ball Z game. A lot of people were saying that Sagas was shit. I guess for a console game, yeah, Sagas was pretty bad. But Legacy of Goku, that one is actually probably one one of the worst Game Boy Advance games I've ever played. And granted, I haven't played all that many, but... You know, in terms of Dragon Ball Z, just, uh Some people will probably say the GT games are, are bad. I don't know. I haven't played them. And in all honesty, I had no interest in playing them. So, yeah, so here we go. Talkity, talkity, talk, talk, talk. Ugh. I'm glad that I sped up the text, though. If you really have any interest in what they're saying... Feel free to pause and read, although I actually did kind of try and give you some time to read it as I was playing. Come, Magic Cloud. Why is it on Krillin? So, yeah, now if I try and go talk to Krillin, because this dumbass is right on the cloud, I'm going to take off without finishing talking to everyone. <sighs> Damn it. Did Boma even give me the dragon radar? I don't think that she did. Well, anyway, no time to rest around the house. Okay. And, oh, look at neat little squirrel. Wait, what? The snake's around? Oh, okay. Check this out. So, boom. I just killed the squirrel, and I got experience points from it. Squirrels only net you, like, I think maybe five experience points per kill. Um, snakes do more. Not a whole lot more, but still. So, yeah. The reason why you're back here is because, well, you're pretty low level right now. Vegeta was not kidding when he said that you were a low level. Except for the fact that, well, this game doesn't treat it like you were born with a power level of 2. It makes it seem like you were born with a power level of negative 2. That little thing with the wing up there, those are flight charges or flight cores as I call them. Why? Because you can fly. I shit you not, you can fly in this game. At will. The crabs, giant crabs. Ah shit, it's King Kong all over again. Now you can actually pull all of your key into one single attack. Now the way that this game works is that I guess it's like some sort of slope mechanic. And look how much experience the crab gave me. A hundred. Yeah. So you can pretty much actually get the higher ground and punch or blast it something and it'll actually take it out a hell of a lot faster. This is good for when you're in a pinch and you actually need to um, get by. Damn it, I keep missing. The only way to shoot these snakes, well, the only way to kill the snakes is with the key blast. Because, well, they're too low to the ground and Goku doesn't know how to crouch and punch. Whatever, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to free roam a little bit. Because plot can kind of take a back seat while, um, you know, while I go and get stronger. Especially while I go and get stronger. Because, shit, if I go and fight Raditz now, I'm going to die. You shouldn't be at level 2, you should be almost level 10. Like, I'd say about level 6 or 7 by the time you fight Raditz. Maybe more. I don't remember what level I went to. And, yeah, I'm 9 minutes in this video. Almost halfway. A little more than halfway, actually. And I forgot to mention, this is post-commentary. This was originally going to be a co-commentary, but... I didn't really want to subject my co-commentator to um, this crappy... Um, eh, it's kind of crappy game. Oh, well, I guess while I'm beating up on crabs and crap, look at I one shot that one. Um, oh, these little stiff, dark green pieces of grass. Yeah, the only way you can destroy those is with the key blast. You can only carry up to three sensu beans and up to six herbs. So I just wanted to put that out there in case anybody really actually wanted to play this and they need to know the basics. So, like I said, you can fly. If my memory's correct, it's the uh, it's the L button on the Game Boy Advance. 
and I believe the R button is to cycle through your key blast. Now here we go with these wolves. These wild dogs are a pain in the ass in the early game. I mean it, they will kill you. So what you want to do is save. Why? Because if you die, you restart from where you last saved or, you know, uh, and well, you end up losing all your progress. It's pretty stupid. It's easier to find herbs in the overworld, so I suggest that you just really use the herbs and only use the sensu beans in an emergency. Although, um, yeah, I mean, there are those there, but still. Now, when it comes to flying, you are kind of limited, and it is one flight charge per, uh, per bit of movement, like for each square that you move. And you have a limited amount at first, but it goes up exponentially with each level. As you can see, at level 3, I have 8. That means I can move 8 spaces before um, my flight charges run out and I'm reduced to walking. If you're over water, um, then you're going to revert back uh, to walking on like ground behind the body of water instead. Instead of where you were trying to go. Now, fortunately, yes, your key does regenerate. Your health, on the other hand, yeah, you have to level up in order to boost your health back up uh, if you're trying to do this the hard way. See, it only goes up by a little bit. <clears throat> Why do you have a hell of a lot more key than health? I have no idea. But that's where we need to go, right there. In the meantime, I'm going to continue to grind and, uh, well make up for uh, any lost time uh, well not make up for any lost time um, I'm just trying to get some stuff out of the way because well let me just say you're going to need to level up a lot in this game especially by the time you get to the end of the game so um, I might as well kind of point out a little bit of my background with this game like I said this game came out in 2002 I asked my dad, well, you know, I asked my parents to um, you know, get this game for me for my birthday. And I believe I turned, what, it was 2002. So I was turning 13 at the time. And well, yeah. So um, we got it. I got my first Game Boy Advance, the Arctic White one. And, um,. Uh, yeah, I played the hell out of this game the day I got it. I even beat it the day I got it, mainly because at that time I was in my cheating phase, so I did go and look up stuff, and there's an invincibility code? Wow, wait, hold on, I gotta check this out. I didn't even use the invincibility code. There's a little glitch in the game that you can use. However, it messes up the soundtrack. I'll show that off later in like a few parts, but for the most part, yeah. Um, you kind of need to uh, mess with the game a bit. Um, it gets very tedious the way that this system works, especially considering how weak you are and what certain moves that they give you give you. So let's go in here into the wildlands then. Let's go into the forest. I mean the jungle. I just went through the forest. So here we go. Oh, you can't kill that. Okay, yes, yeah, it's NPC. So, yeah, let's talk to the Tyrannodon, and what does she have to say? Yeah, so now we have another side quest. We gotta go find an egg. Okay, so, um, hang on a second. I see these things here. These are actually important for something else a little later. So, what you can do is just go ahead and collect those now because it'll help you out you won't have to backtrack as much then again if you're going to do what i'm about to do and grind off screen you're probably going to die several times and you'll have to pass by these things multiple times so i'm just going to save right quick and uh yeah i'm just taking precautions at this point Alright, so now I have a pack of wolves to deal with. Look how much damage he did. What the hell is wrong with my defense? 
It's significantly lower. And now you see what happens when you die. Goku's going to heaven. Don't wave at me. I got so sick of seeing this damn screen as a kid. I never did beat this game the legitimate way uh, the first time. But fortunately, when you save, all your progress is also saved. That's a given. But also, when you're in a boss fight, your enemy's health is uh, is retained as well. So if you got your enemy down to half health and you save, and then you die, then you can actually uh, come back. Uh, because the way this game works, your health goes back to full wherever you reload. But your enemy doesn't weird right so in essence that's another way to cheat the game besides this game isn't as uh, as awesome as legacy of goku 2 you don't have as much variety you can't really customize your stats you know and all around you're just pretty freaking weak look at this I only took like what two or three hits and i'm about to die seriously it's still like that by the time you get to your maximum level near the end of the game I kid you not. I don't get it. What were they trying to do? Who wants to grind in a freaking video game? I don't. I don't even like grinding in Pokemon. It's so freaking boring. <laughs> I'm not going to bitch the entire LP. I'm going to try and do it like sagas and not complain throughout the whole game. It does have its highlights, though. You do have quite the variety of enemies to deal with. At least in the early game. By the end game, they kind of all become the same type. So it kind of ends up going into sagas. Which is unfortunate. Oh, look. They look so, they look so sweet sleeping like that. Oh, wait. They're not sleeping. Oops. And yeah, I'm worried about dying now. So, yeah. I'm going to go and grind off screen. Uh... And I'll come back for part two. And of course I missed. Damn it. <laughs>